Hi guys, it's Simmer Deb bringing you a Sims 4 house building video. Uh, the name of this house is Modern Gym. Now when I thought about building this house, I wanted to build a house with a really open floor plan that flowed really well and that would be really easy to play with. Uh, because I know a lot of builders, they primarily just build and they don't play a lot. Uh, but I play a lot more than I build. So when I do build houses, I want to make sure that they're very playable, uh, very easy to play. I don't want my Sims getting hung up on anything. I want them to be able to move about the house really freely and not have any problems. So that's what I think about when I'm building the house. Um, and I really wanted to build a modern house, something for Oasis Springs. So that's what I've done here. Uh, now this house has three bedrooms, plus it also has an office, which could be used as a fourth bedroom or a nursery, something like that. Um, if you had more Sims in your household and you wanted the extra room. Now right there I just um, worked on the sunken living room area, which I love, love, love split level homes. When The Sims 4 came out, um, I was really excited when they announced that there would be all these wonderful building tools. And there are a lot of nice, you know, things added to the building tools. Um, but we lost the ability to do split levels the way that we could do in Sims 3. We still can do some split levels like I've done here uh, with this living room. We just don't have as much flexibility as we did with Sims 3, which is okay. That's fine. We've got a lot of other things that we can do in the Sims 4. Uh, another thing too, normally when I build houses, I go ahead and I build all of the rooms first, bottom floor and top floor, then come back and decorate and do the wall colors and things like that. But this time, I just had the urge to go ahead and start decorating the bottom floor, so that's what I did. Now here I had to take the tub outside because the lighting is so bad inside the house right now that I couldn't figure out what color matched the floor and walls and things like that. So I had to take the tub outside so I could see what color it really was, which no big deal. I do have a lighting mod installed in my game. Um, I got it from Mod The Sims. It's real easy to find. You can just go to Mod The Sims and search lighting mods. It does make the lighting a lot brighter and a lot better, especially when you're playing. Uh, it really helps. Now this is a downstairs bathroom. There are three bathrooms in this house. Uh, there's this full bathroom downstairs. Uh, there's a master bathroom upstairs, of course. Oh, and it turned out wonderfully. I really love the master bath upstairs. You'll see that shortly. Uh, and then there is a bathroom upstairs for the children to share. Um, so there are three bathrooms, so everybody can get ready <laughs> in the morning to go to work or school, whatever. I love this red color that is in the dining room. It's so warm and inviting. I really love it. And I had a problem with that door to the kitchen. Every time I would paint the wall, the door to the kitchen would disappear. I don't know. don't know why, but it's some kind of glitch. I hope it doesn't happen that often. See, I just put it back again. And this kitchen, I, I continued the red theme with the cabinets in the kitchen. Um, I really like that, and I really like the way that you can put the curved ends on the bars. I wish we could have done that in Sims 3, but I, I love that you can do that in Sims 4. And these cabinets with the dishes showing, I don't know why they're only available for end cabinets. I wish that they were available to do in line, the tile cabinets, like the cabinet, cabinets with the closed doors. I don't know why they didn't do that, but I hope that when we get an expansion pack and get more cabinets, I hope they have cabinets uh, that show the dishes that you can put in the line like that instead of just at the end. But I love the way the kitchen turned out. Um, it's, you know, not too, too big, but it's, it's a nice size. I didn't put a whole lot of clutter on the countertops or anything. I left space where you can put your own clutter there. Um, and I also love this bar area. I love those bar cabinets, those with the bottles that came with uh, The Sims 4. I thought they were really nice. Um, but I do like that bar area next to the dining room. And I also, I love plants. Gotta have plants <laughs> in my houses. I love them, love them, love them. And as far as wall lights go, 
I do wish that we had more to choose from, not just wall lights, but ceiling lights, all the lights, which I know that we will get more things to choose from in the expansion packs. And I, I cannot wait for a new Sims 4 expansion pack to come out. I hope they don't wait very long. Um, there you can see I have to draw walls upstairs to get the ceiling to come in, which is fine. No big deal. And I love this living room. I just love sunken rooms. Um, I wish I had one in real life. <laughs> but I do love the sunken rooms. And if you are going to build a sunken room in one of your uh, Sims floor houses, if you haven't already discovered this, I discovered this on another house that I built, is that you cannot really put a fireplace out there. You can put a fireplace out there, but what you have to do is the fireplace will be suspended on the foundation if that makes any sense so there will be a space under the fireplace so what you have to do is you have to put the foundation back for the place where the fireplace is underneath the fireplace but when you do that you're basically building a room for the fireplace to sit on which is no problem the sims can light the fireplace no problem with it being up higher like that on another room the problem comes in when you try to put a tv above the fireplace they can't watch the TV because the TV is basically in another room. The game considers it to be in another room. So if you want to put a fireplace in a sunken room, you cannot put a TV above it. Uh, well, you can. The Sims just can't watch it. <laughs> uh, but anyway, I do love the sunken rooms, especially for a living room. A bedroom would be nice as a sunken room, too, if you wanted to have a bedroom on your first floor. Uh, there I go playing with chairs. We definitely need more chairs in The Sims 4. Uh, we just don't have enough to choose from. Uh, and there I go putting a stereo in. And I've left lots of room there uh, in the living room so that your Sims can dance around, do whatever they want to do, do some slow dancing, do some flirty flirting, whatever. And there I go with that rug. I like that little round rug. Uh, there's another little round rug that I like too. And it, it looks like it's got a bullseye, an off-center bullseye in it. Um, and I think I use it later upstairs in a bathroom, maybe. Uh, there I go with the foyer trying to find a rug. And I decided to go ahead and tile it with the stone that's in the kitchen. Love that stone. And there I go trying to find just the perfect rug. One thing that I definitely miss from The Sims 3 is create a style. I really like for all my things to match. Um, and it really hurts. That's the thing I miss most. Um, when building is create a style because I used it in every single house that I ever built in Sims 3. I used the create a style like crazy. So I really miss that. Um, the other thing that I really miss from the Sims 3 is the open world. Um, open world and create a style. I really wish that they would find some way to bring back create a style. Um, or at least give us more choices with patterns that match each other. Um, you know, it, would it be so hard in an expansion pack for all of the furniture, rugs, curtains, whatever, to have, you know, a basic color palette that matches each other? You know, like maybe 12 colors and each piece of furniture have the same 12 colors, you know, so that you can match them. And rugs, like if you have a red rug and a red chair, Use the same color red. <laughs> Don't use three shades different for the rug that you use for the chair when you create these items. You know, to help builders who like things that coordinate and look good together. Um, I don't know. I don't think I'm the only one who gets really anal <laughs> about my things matching. I don't know. Maybe I am. Whatever. But I do wish that they would consider that when they do the expansion pack. One thing, another thing I love about The Sims 4 is that you can draw walls with no support. Uh, in Sims 3, you would have to go down there and put columns everywhere before you could build a second floor like that. But here in The Sims 4, it's so easy. You just build a wall wherever you want it. If there's no support on, under it, you know, no problem. <laughs> so that's one thing I do absolutely love about The Sims 4. And like I said, you know, they have added a lot of tools that make the building a lot easier. 
Um, I love that you can pick up and move an entire house if you don't like exactly how you have it situated on a lot. Like say that, you know, you have it on your lot and you decide that you want a room bigger, a larger, um, but there's no room on that side of the lot to make it larger. You can just pick up the entire house and move it over. You know, so I, I really do love that. Um, here I'm working with the, the walkway. I love those exterior lights. They had the same type in The Sims 3, and I'm so glad that they included them in The Sims 4. Now here I'm going up to the second floor. Um, I'm having to put lights everywhere, just random lights, so I can see what I'm doing and putting in windows and things like that. Um, I do wish the lighting was better uh, also, even with the lights. You have to put in four or five lights sometimes. There I had to take the bed outside so I could see exactly what color it was. Um, I haven't built a whole lot in The Sims 4 yet. This is probably maybe the third house I've built so far. So even though I'm somewhat familiar with all the presets, um, I still forget you know, which beds come in which colors and have to, you know, search a little bit before I find exactly what I'm wanting. And again, you'll see time and time again, I have to take furniture and things outside the house in the sunlight so that I can see exactly what color it is and what matches it. Um, I don't know if you all have to do that or not, but yeah, I still have to do that. And there I'm picking that beautiful blue to match that blue stripe in the bed. Love that accent wall. Um, I end up, up having, I think, two blue accent walls in this room. I think uh, the wall on the right there, I end up putting the wood pattern. Um, and there I couldn't figure out exactly what I wanted to do with that picture area. I think I ended up putting a shelf under it. I don't, I don't think I put a light over it. I think I just end up doing a shelf. Yeah, that's what I do put some books and things like that on it um, so that they can read and then you know just throw the book up there instead of on the end table who knows <laughs> whatever uh, but I do like how this master bedroom turned out uh, bookcase nice bookcase and I love 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 the way that the master bathroom turned out I think I'll do it next there's a little sitting area where they can sit and read a book and there we go with the rugs again trying to find the right color rug and of course nothing has that uh aqua blue color in it so you know that's what i really wanted was something with that aqua blue color that's in the wall and in the stripe on the bed but could not find anything uh the right size with that color so no biggie and there we go with plants again. Told you I love plants. I have to put plants everywhere. Oh, another thing I absolutely love, love, love about The Sims 4 is the way that you can resize objects and make them larger. That is so fantastic. Um, I love taking those little bitty plants and making them bigger. And here we are in the bathroom. And I just... I could not figure out exactly what I wanted to do with this bathroom and then I decided to build the wall out at an angle um, there I go starting it trying it at first and I really love when I finally get the wall right it just makes the whole bathroom come together I just really really love the way that this bathroom turned out um, I, I might even I'll probably even do this type of bathroom in other houses in the future I liked it so much um, I can remember doing something similar in The Sims 3 with the corner bathroom they had in that, the corner bathtub, but not exactly the same. Um, and here I've put in two showers uh, so that mom and dad can shower at the same time in the morning and nobody's late for work. <laughs> I always hate that when your Sim has to shower and you're playing in a house with one bathroom and mom and dad have to get ready for work at the same time and they can't get in the shower. Um, or I hate it when you're playing a household and you have one bathroom and you have a child and the child walks in on the parent in the bathroom, and gets embarrassed. Um, <laughs> I was playing in Sims 4 when I very first got the game back on launch day. Um, and I decided to make a single parent, a single mom, with a child and she is in the bathroom 
taking a bath and the son has to go to the bathroom really bad and he's like doing the pee walk and he comes into the bathroom and his mom's in there and he gets so embarrassed he had to go hide under the covers <laughs> that was so funny um but yeah the sims really do have a lot of emotions 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 i know we're tired of hearing that word emotions but i love 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 the way this bathroom turned out um I wish I had one like it in real life. That tub with the big windows. Love that. Love it, love it, love it. And, yeah, I didn't put a whole, I put some clutter in there. Not a whole, whole lot of clutter. And I absolutely love this rug, too. And for once, I could tell that it matched the walls. <laughs> okay, and here, here's the little office room that I made. This could easily be, I, I believe that a twin bed, a single bed could easily fit in this room. Um, or it could be a nursery if you needed it to be a nursery. Or you could just keep it as an office the way that I've got it there. And I decided to go with that apple green color. I uh, love that color. And um, I start off with the green wallpaper that looks okay. But then I end up coming back later and changing it to a different green wallpaper that I liked a little bit better. So that's not the final wallpaper that goes in that room. Um, oh, and that chair, finally, I found an apple green chair <laughs> that went fine in there too. Not the exact same color apple green as the office chair, but close enough to where it coordinates quite well. But I do wish, like I said, that they would coordinate the furniture more uh, or you know do a better job so that you have more options for builders and also for, pe for people who are just players who don't build you know I mean you do decorate and you do a lot of people I'm sure would like to have things that coordinate better there we go with the plants again uh, love that plant love 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 it oh and the bulletin board that I put in don't you just love it when your sims can get uh, postcards from their pen pals and put them on the bulletin board? That is so neat. Really like that. You know, there are a lot of things in The Sims 4 that I absolutely love. There are a lot of things that I miss from The Sims 3 that I wish were included. And I know that we'll probably get a lot of things in future expansion packs. So I'm really optimistic about that. Now this is the kids' bathroom. And what, I'm, what I do here is I make the toilet and shower area separate so that if you do have two, sim, two child sims living in there, they can one can go and use the bathroom while the other takes the bath and you don't have the problem of them walking in on each other and becoming embarrassed and having to hide under the covers. <laughs> so, you know, that's the reason why I did that uh, from my own experience with the very first time that I played The Sims 4. And all these colors I end up changing. I, I put that checkerboard gray in there, but I changed that. It ends up, I end up using a much prettier, uh, what, what I think is a much prettier tile for the walls and go with a different color scheme. And you'll notice that menu thing keeps popping up. That's because I have a bad habit of accidentally hitting the escape button when I'm building. Don't know why I do it, but I do. <laughs> Just accidentally hit it with my pinky finger. Um, there I go, putting some clutter on the counter. Not a whole, whole lot of clutter. Um, I don't usually like really cluttered houses. Um, when I download a house or whatever, and it has a whole, whole lot of clutter in it, I want some clutter, but not a whole, whole lot, because I like to put I like to use other people's clutter, but I like to put my own clutter. Like, if my Sim collects things and gets collectibles, I like to have a spot in the house where I can place those collectibles. And if I download a house and it already has a lot of clutter on the cabinets or whatever, um, then I have to delete all that before I can put my own Sim's collectibles and things in the house. So that's why I don't put a whole lot of clutter in this house. And there's the, a view of the upstairs hall. I really like wide hallways um, so that my Sims don't stomp their foot and run into each other. Of course, with Sims 4, it's not the same as Sims 3. 
<laughs> in The Sims 4, if a Sim is in another Sim's way, they just walk right through them. <laughs> or they sit down on top of them if they're sitting on the sofa. <laughs> but anyway, I do like wide hallways. And that railing there, you know, it looks purple to me. I, I, I took the fence outside in the sunlight to look at it to make sure it was brown. And it is brown, but for some reason it looked looks purple there. Don't know why. So here we go, and I think this, yeah, this is the boys' bedroom. There I go, taking the beds outside again so I can see what color they are. <laughs> and I think that's a, a pretty good bed for a child. That bedspread could either go with a child or a teen. Um, and this, this bedroom does have toys in it. I do end up putting toys in it. But a teen, you know, just delete the toys and a teen could live there, no problem. But I do love um, the way that this room turned out. Of course, I put blue in it to match the blue stripe in the bedspread. Love, love, love blue. Oh, and I love, love, love that poster with the rocket ship. I think it is so cute. Uh, it turned out so cute. I was going to put posters and things um, above the dresser. But I ended up just putting a mirror in there, and then I put uh, posters on the other wall because I couldn't couldn't really find what I wanted to go there. So ended up doing that. The same thing with the lighting. Like I said, we need wall lights desperately in the next expansion pack. And here I go putting clutter. I don't know why I put shirts there. <laughs> you know, it's not a laundry room. I do end up deleting those shirts, and I put a fish bowl there instead. Um, and I started out with the painter's easel in here, but I ended up taking that out, and I put the chemistry set table thing in there instead, because um, I just thought it would be better for a boy, you know, the chemistry set. Uh, they can always paint, but I, I ended up putting the painting, the painter easel in the girls' room. And I love that little robot. And like I said, I love how you can size things up like that. It is so cute. Now, that little robot, I think, is a wind-up toy. Um, so I, I don't think it will work sized up like that. I don't know. It might. I haven't tried it yet. But you might have to size, you know, put it back to its normal size if you want to use it like a wind-up toy. Here we are in the girls' room. And, of course, I went with pink. Love, love, love pink. Love, love, love that wallpaper that goes in there. Here I am taking the bed outside again <laughs> to match it to the tables because I can't see what color they are inside the house. <laughs> oh, I'm so crazy. Um, and love, love, love those lights that are on that table with the pink shades on them. Uh, and also, I put, I, I look at the posters, but I move the posters to the other wall and end up putting a mirror over that dresser, uh, just like the way it looked better. And love that little shoe poster. That is so cute. And then I was trying to find um, a painting to go over the bed, and I think that one is cute. The one that's just like a paint splatter that's pink. And there goes the painting easel that I put in there. And a little bookcase. Oh, another thing I love, I love that that Sims 4 bookcase has a slot on top of it so that you can put something on there. And um, I didn't realize the dollhouses were so big. I wanted to put a dollhouse in the room, but of course, if you put the dollhouse in the room, you don't have room for the bed, so. <laughs> oh my, you really need a big room for those dollhouses or put them outside um, for the Sims to play with them. And there I go with the curtains, and I, I wasn't sure about the curtain. I think I tried every single curtain in this game before I decided on those cream colored curtains and I, I think I even had to take the curtain outside to make sure that it yep there we go had to take it outside to make sure it went well with that rug make sure it was the right color and sometimes you know when you have curtains on a wall depending on the lighting if it's the exact same curtain one curtain will look one color and the curtain right next to it will look a different color because of the lighting and it happened in that girl's room one of the curtains looks cream and the other curtain looks white so go figure I do wish that uh, that the lighting was improved but no biggie and there's that uh, green wallpaper that I changed and here we go on the deck outside love the deck uh, there's not a whole whole lot of outdoor furniture in The Sims 4 yet. 
so there wasn't you know a whole, whole lot I could do out there and what I really really wished I could have done is I really wished I could have put a telescope out there but of course you know if you played The Sims 4 at all that the telescopes are hue freaking mungus <laughs> why did they do that I really hope with the next expansion pack that they give us a small telescope one that's the size of the telescopes in Sims 3 you know I know I can't you know shouldn't keep comparing Sims 4 to the Sims 3 but come on we need a freaking telescope that we can fit on a balcony or in a backyard without having to have a 50 by 50 lot just to fit it on um, <laughs> so I hope they do give us a telescope and I'm wondering if we'll get aliens oh I'm so thankful that we've got ghosts because I hated having in my uh, Sims 4 game that I, I played at the beginning just to get acquainted with Sims 4 you know I had a Sims Sim die and I hated when uh, the Grim Reaper came I hated not having a ghost come up so I'm really thankful that they gave us ghosts I haven't played with the ghosts yet but I'm so grateful that they did give us the ghosts and free in a free update and we're getting pools and more careers so I can't wait for all of that and there I go putting some lighting in and I love 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 those fish fountain thingies <laughs> they're so cute here I go doing a little bit of landscaping. I didn't want to do a whole, whole lot of landscaping in the backyard in case, uh, you know, whoever downloaded this house wanted to do more of those uh, planter boxes or whatever. Um, so I ended up just doing a very minimal landscaping back there. And I think I, I added another planter box too. Um, pretty sure I did. And the workbench, I wanted to put the workbench, I end up putting the workbench up on the deck. So the house does have the workbench. And I think I moved that. I, I don't put another tree. I'm pretty sure I don't put another tree there. Like I said, the landscaping back here, very minimal. And I do think I end up moving that little grouping. Yeah, I did move it. And put another planter over there love those planters by the way and here I go with the roof last <laughs> almost forgot the roof actually to be honest there you go and I, I really wish we could change the colors of the roofs you know but the the roof the wall for the roof has to be all one color for that span which is okay but I would have liked to have continued that rock up a little bit higher but that's okay and I also love, love, love the house trims that they've given us. That is so neat. And I forget that one, I forgot that one corner, but I, I notice it and come back and fix it a little bit later. And there we go with landscaping on the front. Don't do a whole, whole lot of landscaping. Just, you know, fairly minimal amount of landscaping. Just your basics. So if you wanted more, you know, you could come in and add more. One thing that we really, really need uh, with the next expansion pack too is more shrubs. We don't have enough shrubbery, especially we need the conical, the tall conical shaped shrubs, because there's not many. Uh, there's that one tree on the end that I used and uh, one more conical shaped shrubbery, which I end up using on the other side, the other end of the house down there. And that's pretty much it. So we really, really need more shrubbery. Also, I noticed that all the bushes that have flowers, they're all the same shape flower, um, like those pink shrubs in the back. Uh, they're all basically the same shape, the same flower. There we go, putting some little rocks in. And I love how that rock is two rocks hooked together. That's so cute. There we go, and believe that we are almost done. Uh, nope, got to put furniture on the back deck. Put the little barbecue. Got to have a little table for them to barbecue and sit and chat and play musical chairs. <laughs> have you noticed how a sim will, well, in my game, I don't know about your game, but in my game, a sim will get something to eat. He'll sit down in one chair, take one bite, then get up take his plate and move to another chair and sit down again and just play musical chairs back and forth 
It's like, sit down and be still and eat. You've got to go to work. Sit down, eat. <laughs> You're going to be late. <laughs> I don't know what's up with that. But I think it's pretty much done. That's pretty much it. And here we go with the screenshots of the house, starting with the exterior. I'm really pleased with the way the house turned out. Uh, it's a simple, modern home, uh, but it still has a lot of character, I think, even though it is a simple home. Love those lily pads in the, in the fountains. <laughs> Love the uh, stonework and that, that outdoor upstairs deck area foyer looking into the living room another shot of the living room little chess area love that butterfly painting by the way looking back to the foyer there's the bar area adjacent to the dining room another shot of the dining room and quick shot of the kitchen with its red cabinets that's the downstairs bathroom. And that, of course, is the master bedroom with its teal wall, or aqua, whatever you want to call it. And there's my favorite room in the house, the master bathroom with the corner tub and the double showers. And there's the apple green office. There is the upstairs children's bathroom. And that is the boys' room. Love that spaceship poster. Love, love, love it. And next will be the little girls' room. And those curtains are the same color, by the way, even though they don't look it in these screenshots. They're all the same color. And there's the barbecue area and the little workbench. Oh, the fishy fountains. Love them. They're so cute. And if you would like to download this house, it is available on the gallery. You can find it by searching Simmer Deb or by searching the name of the house, which is Modern Gym. Thank you so very much for watching. If you do download this house, I hope you enjoy playing it. Until next time, guys. See you later.